pronouncing redox reactions is pretty intuitive, but we will go through an example to make sure it's clear. Suppose we have permanganate added to chloride ions, yielding chlorine gas and manganese 2+, all in an acidic solution. Chlorine, whose oxidation state goes from negative 1 to 0, is oxidized. The oxygens in permanganate each have a minus 2 oxidation state, and since the overall molecule of permanganate has a minus 1 charge, the manganese must have an oxidation state of positive 7. During the course of this reaction, its oxidation state is reduced to positive 2. First things first. Split up this reaction into its half reactions. For the oxidation reaction, chloride yields chlorine. And for the reduction reaction, permanganate yields manganese 2+. Now we are going to want to balance the atoms in each half reaction. In the oxidation half reaction, we simply add a 2 to the reactants side, and we are balanced. In the reduction half reaction, it gets a little more elaborate. Manganese is already balanced, but we have oxygen in our reactants, and no oxygen in our product. We were told, however, that this reaction is transpiring in solution, and in that solution, we can expect there to be an abundance of water molecules. So we can add four waters to the right side of this reaction, thereby balancing out the four oxygens of permanganate. But now we run into another issue. We've introduced eight hydrogens to the right side of this reaction, with no hydrogen on the left side of the reaction to balance them out. Well, recall that we were told that not only is this reaction transpiring in solution, it's transpiring in an acidic solution, so we can assume there to be an abundance of free hydrogen ions, eight of which can be added to the left side of the reaction to balance it out. The atoms in each half reaction are now balanced. Now we will have to balance the charges in each half reaction. The reduction half reaction releases two electrons, one for each chloride ion that was oxidized. The reduction half reaction consumes five electrons in order to lower manganese's oxidation state from positive 7 to positive 2. But this reaction can't consume more electrons than this reaction outputs, so we need to figure out a way to ensure that this oxidation half reaction emits the same number of electrons that the reduction half reaction consumes. This can be done by multiplying the reduction half reaction by 2, and the oxidation half reaction by 5. With these newly multiplied half reactions, notice that the 10 electrons outputted by the oxidation half reaction can be consumed by the reduction half reaction. We can now sum our half reactions. Since the 10 electrons appear in both the reactants and products, we ignore them, thus producing our final balanced reaction. Now this method was applicable for balancing redox reactions in an acidic solution. If the reaction was being conducted in a basic solution, 
Rather than using free hydrogen ions to balance the hydrogens in our products, we'd use free hydroxide ions and balance accordingly.